All right, there we are. Um, so welcome. I'm going to show um, a bunch of stuff about what we're doing here. It's the We Believe in Comics Friday night workshop. Um, welcome. It was last minute, this one. Didn't plan it. Kind of didn't. Um, sorry, my Zoom. There we go. OK, so we are the Sequential Artist Workshop. We're a nonprofit. We are a school for comics. Getting bigger and bigger every day. It's getting kind of crazy, but in a good way. Next week, Kristen Radke, who started this series of workshops, is going to be here doing comics about secrets. Um, and I'm pretty excited by that. She's going to be here Friday, December 2nd. A bunch of courses <laughs> online now. If you want to check them out at sawcomics.org. Um, in January, we have uh, Leela Corman and Josh Bayer both running classes. We also have Jess Relifson. And I think that's it for January. And then some things in February. Georgia Weber is still doing Drawing Health every Saturday. You can sign up for that. Um, okay. Tonight, what you do, we've got some ways to share it. Friday night comics is the hashtag. You can find us at Instagram and other places at Comics Workshop. You can head on over to members.sawcomics.org and find us. Um, we survive from tuitions and donations, and it helps support this workshop. It helps support a lot of the other things that we do. In fact, we're um, sort of starting our sustaining member uh, membership drive in which you can uh, donate monthly, and you can go to learn.sawcomics.org to see a little bit more about that, and you can see a little insight into our first 11 years from the first days when our place looked like that to a year later when we had our first uh, comic show with one of our students who now is, is working for Simon & Schuster. Um, you can see some of the later spaces we moved to and how much we've done online, which a lot of you know. Um, and we've got a lot of um, uh, a lot of detailing what we do every year, both um, both what some of our um, expenses are, but also what some what we give away in scholarships and things like that. So I'll be posting more about that as we slowly move on. And um, as Popeye says, what are you going to do with your fifty thousand dollars anyway? He's going to get into an extra big crap game. So <laughs> you could you could avoid losing all that money in a crap game and uh, and help out saw. Um, on that same page, you'll find a lot of our uh, information, our nonprofit information, our tax filings, if any of that's of interest to you. And you can find our first fundraising, fundraising video from 2011, just to show you how far we've come. Um, let's see. Oops. Let's scroll back up. And let's go to here, which says, please, let's keep it PG-13. Thanks so much. Um, enjoy. And tonight we're going to do a meta comic. What's a meta comic? I'm going to stop sharing and we'll talk about it. And I'll also try and put it in the chat as I go, which I usually do when, when I'm not hosting. But so a meta comic in the, tonight, for tonight anyway, is sort of just, or meta story, is a story that in which you um, comment or question or tell the story of telling the story. And um, as a warm up, we're going to dive right into it. We're going to do a warm up. And we're going to do a four panel warm up. I'm going to sp spotlight my screen here. How do I do that? There we go. OK. So four panel, you all have gotten used to this, I think. Um, but if you've never done it, just put a plus sign in the middle of your page and you're done. There's your four panels. And I'll show you what we're going to draw. This is a warm up to get us started. Um, I, may, I may mute some people if we're getting too loud here. Um, in the first panel, draw a simple circle, two dots, and some sort of line for a mouth. And that's all. Just the simplest. Uh, icon of a face ever. I'm going to write that down. Let's see. Yeah, panel one. Circle, two dots, and a line for a mouth. OK. Now, panel two. This is supposed to be you. So I want you to add one detail, like 
in my case, I'm going to add sort of my like winged out hair. And then I want you to have that pan, that character looking at the other one saying, is that suppose, is it one S or two? One S. Thanks. Supposed to be me. Panel two. Does that make sense? Panel two. This is a self portrait, self portrait with only one more detail. Saying, supposed to be me. I'm trying to uh, navigate the chat and, uh, and be the artist at the same time. So far, so good. I'm going to make Susan co host in case there's any trouble. Um, <laughs> okay. That's panel two. This is our warm up. Panel three, we're going to do a self portrait again. We're going to add one more detail. So maybe I'm going to add my glasses. And, but this time the character is going to say, put some feeling into it. And he's going to be looking, or she is going to be looking at us this time into it. Same. <laughs> Panel three. How's that looking? How's everyone doing on that? Um, panel three. One more detail only. Self portrait. Saying, feeling into it. Panel four is your chance to put some feeling into it. So, panel four, draw whatever. Feels right. You only have a minute, though. Total of one minute to draw some sort of self-portrait or some sort of drawing that has some feeling in it. And then we're going to put a word balloon that says that's more like it. You can start there. Just now, ahead, or do we get a body and any other body parts want, yet? Or whatever you want in okay. that. Um, But you only get a minute. OK, and I'm going to do it too. And it can be abstract. Who knows? I think I'm going to draw my usual character. 7.09, so it's 9 after. We'll go to 10 after. We've got 10 seconds. <laughs> oh, this was fun. Um, okay, that's our warm up. Somebody is saying that it's Charles Schultz's birthday today. Amazing. Amazing. Okay, put your warm up somewhere. I forgot what we're gonna do next, but I'm almost, but I'm ready. So let's see, I got my instructions here. So the next thing we're gonna do, find a piece of scrap. We're just gonna write three possible ideas. Here in America, it's it's a day after a holiday. So maybe, um, maybe you wanna go to yesterday. Otherwise you can go to today. I want you to think of three things you could make a, a four panel comic about. Um, so maybe you do wanna tell something about uh, Thanksgiving yesterday. Maybe you don't. Maybe you just want to tell something about something that happened today. I am going to tell, I am going to write down three things I think that I did yesterday. I, uh, my in-laws were here and we spilled uh, tea on the scrap and we played Scrabble and we've spilled tea on it. So I'm going to write spilling tea on Scrabble. So write down three things you could write. I need more room right there. Three things you could write about that all took place on one day. Um, yesterday or today is fine. Um, I pulled a lot of weeds out because we had a frost and they were dead. Actually, flowers too, after a frost. 
Um, I also baked stuffing. <laughs> okay, you have one more minute to write down, just write down three things that um, you could make a comic about. That's all super simple. There's mine. Three things. Okay. How are we doing? Maybe five more seconds. I'm raising my hand. There we go. Okay, today we're gonna make a six panel comic. So six panel comic. You can do it fancier than this, but I, I like to be unfancy, but there's my plan for a six panel comic, which is one, two, three, four, five, six, six. Um, and this is gonna be a meta comic and it's gonna be about one of these things that we just wrote. In fact, what I'd like you to do, we're gonna do panel one now, and then we're gonna look at some fun stuff. Panel one is pick one of these characters that you drew and let that character in panel one, I'm gonna write it down, panel comic two, panel one, have a self portrait character. Announce what the story is about. It has to be, um, um, on the, Hold on. Okay, it has to be the least interesting thing on your list. You have to pick the least interesting thing. So I have to pick baked stuff thing, which is a real bummer because it's really uninteresting. <laughs> but that's okay because you'll have a chance to change it. So we have. So we take a self portrait character. One of the characters we drew. <clears throat> does that make sense? I'm gonna um, draw. I think that that one, the funny looking glasses and hair saying this is a comic about baking stuffing what an American thing and I have no idea where this is going folks um okay and that's panel one. And we'll give each other, we'll give everybody another minute or two to do that while I queue up what we're going to look at. Um, Okay, um, let's see if I can share my screen. Oh yeah, I got the um, fun. Um, hang on, I'm gonna remove the spotlight. I'm gonna spotlight myself, I suppose. Oops. And share my screen. So a meta comic, like I was saying, is really just you know, a, a story where you're questioning the story to some degree, and you're not sure of what the story is about. Um, and the story that's being told is about telling the story. And um, just to show you that this doesn't have to be scary, I'll show you a classic example. And hopefully you've seen this. But if you haven't, uh, here's a couple glimpses of it. It's from um, Duck Amok, which is um, an old Daffy Duck cartoon. <laughs> where he keeps uh, yelling at the artist, hey, what's going on here? Draw me correctly. Where's my background? Hey, now you're erasing me. I'm making some of this. I'm paraphrasing some of this. Draw me a proper background. And then the, then the uh, artist draws this background, which I love, um, but I think Daffy isn't so happy with it. And then he said, how about some color? And so then the artist does this. Okay, so it's a 
definitely already it's a meta comic um and then he gets the eraser out look at that great squishy eraser by the way but whatever all right and then he gets redrawn he says put my body back puts his body back <laughs> and then he draws him in all sorts of different um get-ups with different backgrounds make special note of this dripping um this dripping background and this paintbrush that'll that'll come in handy later later draws him a city uh, draws him a uh ocean sea uh you know islandscape <laughs> later daffy freaks out and tries to or tries to hold the panel uh the panel itself is collapsing daffy tries to hold the panel up tries to get it uh keep it from collapsing in on himself and he rips the panel or the frame or the screen or whatever apart and then he, that's what he looks like and finally um and then there's this bit where there's two of them because the frames are flipping out of uh, out of order it's kind of crazy <laughs> and it's kind of like what we just did right is that supposed to be me um and then he says he just finally gives up at the end of the cartoon he's just like all right what's going on and then the cartoonist whoever's in charge draws this door slams the door on him with the pencil with the eraser of the pencil click and then says ah oh, ain't i a stinker it's bugs bunny so the next um step that we're going to do I'm going to stop sharing. I'm going to put change the spotlight. The next step we're going to do is we're going to draw panel two, draw the drawing tool and something from the story. You can add any words you want. So like the Daffy Duck, and I could put that back up on the screen, but I think I'll just draw. So you could draw yourself drawing with a pencil, with a pen. You could draw it like you did. I'm going to draw it with this little pen. You could draw your hand if you want. You could change the tools. I'm going to draw all these breadcrumbs. This is supposed to be a little vexing and a little bit of, I don't know, weird. Does that make sense? Does everybody know what we're doing? This will have for this panel, we'll have like three minutes or something. Not a whole lot. We'll go to 22 after. And you can make it, you can say anything you want. I'm gonna say I had to make every breadcrumb by his hand, which is totally not true. So let's see where this goes. I had to make every. by hand. Okay, I'm going to write options in meta commas. Um, I'm going to do this here. Oops. So there's some options there. We're gonna need. We're gonna list. We're gonna keep listing these as we go, and we'll finish in one more minute of this panel.
All right. All right, we're going to show a couple more things. Um, okay, let me show. Let me share my screen. Um, so there's some other things we can do in a meta comic. Ernie Bushmiller, who did Nancy. Everyone loves Nancy. Did a lot of meta comics, actually, um, quite a few. Um, and sometimes what he showed was um, a lack of control. Like here, because the artist himself didn't quote plan ahead, he ran out of space, right? Plan ahead, that's a very good slogan. It's true, I'll show you what happens if you don't plan ahead. And things that the panels are getting smaller and smaller. Right. Um, so I'm going to put that in the chat in a second. Um, uh, structure. Structure change. Well, I'll write that in a second. Okay. Here's another thing he did. Um, he would get, he would draw, uh, he would not draw if, if he could get away with it, especially on Labor Day. What's the reason for the smog? I know the reason. He, and they're pointing to his name, he doesn't want to draw us less work on Labor Day. Every year he made a Labor Day joke. This is Labor Day. Let's give the boss an easy strip to draw. Okay. And then they go underwater. <laughs> Thanks, kids. And the balloon comes from the signature. Insane. Um, and then we get four panels of her behind things. Nancy's head, Nancy's feet, Nancy's leg, Nancy's foot. Sorry, Nancy wouldn't appear today. She refused to work on Labor Day. And then let's zoom in. And there's one I couldn't find. Of, oops, I'll fudge. Hang on. Of, uh, of it being really badly drawn, but that's okay. Rubber stamp. Our boss refused to draw us on Labor Day. So there's just this rubber stamp. So that's two other... Two other things we can we can do. Um, um, options, losing structure, bad, uh, no drawings, or unplanned, etc. Um, here it is again. Uh, this snow is getting deep. Let's shovel it. Nah, you're the laziest man in the world. No, I'm not. Who's lazier than you? The guy who draws this and like the snow is just covering and covering and covering them. Um, and then this one, anything can happen in a comic strip where he's just showing that like you can play with the rules. The rules don't matter. There's no, um, there's no actually, there's no actual rea reality here. Um, some other things uh, that you can do. I'm going to stop sharing because I'm going to share a different screen now. Um, oh, you know what? I'm also going to share a little spotlight. Oh, it doesn't matter. Here we go. Um, people know that I like blossoms and bones quite a bit. Let me see if that's on, on there. Um, can you see that? Uh, blossoms and bones? Yep. Okay, thanks. Yes. Thanks, Susan. Okay. So, um, you know what, I'm going to go two pages on this one because it's really nice, two pages. Uh, there we go. Um, Blossoms and Bones is a really great comic uh, by Kim Kranz, who, there we go, who, um, the story is basically, or the book is basically trying to force her to tell the story, even though she can't really tell it, even though she doesn't exactly know how to tell it. And in the same way that we did that first example where we said put some feeling into it that's really what this book is about is she's trying to sort of like start with the feelings and um she has a bunch of text lots of text there's lots of like um uh dialogue where the where one part of her is talking to another part of her and they're trying to come up with a title um uh this is about um an eating disorder so content warning, eating disorder here. And also there's content warning. There is a dead body in Beth Tremblay's book, which many of you have seen. 
Um, so she says, so she's talking to herself on the left and on the right. It, a new project, 30 days, a month with the stomach. No, that's not the right title. A month with the heart. Nope, nice try. 30 days with an eating disorder. Getting closer, a month of binge drawings, maybe. The eating disorder diary drawings, close. And then the right-hand character says, the right-hand voice, the second voice says, maybe you should draw the thing first and ask it what its name is. That would be showing up in the way the whole project intends. So maybe be quiet for a second and see what wants to happen. Just start drawing it right now? Yes. With no plan? Yes. Without a way to frame it? Yes. Manage it? Yes. Present it? Yes. Just draw the feeling? Yes. It makes me feel sick just thinking about it. It's okay. I'm already ashamed. It's okay. It makes me want to eat. Perfect. Of course it does. Draw the feeling. After I eat? No. Now. My, my mouth is watering with shame. Whoa, look at that title. No way. Okay, you're right. Too intense. But one will emerge, you'll see. And then she draws this text anyway. My mouth is watering with shame in this really intense way. Um, so that's another sort of option for our, our meta comic. Um, and I'm just going to show you a little bit more when these dialogues happen. Um, there are these little two characters that sort of appear. Are you crying? Yes. Are you broken? Yes. What is your name? I'm not telling yet. Neither am I. My name is, and it's crossed out. I can't. Um, try again tomorrow, stuff like that. Um, there's a lot of text. Uh, let's see. There's a lot of lists. She's still trying to tell the story. She's trying to still uh, figure out what the story is, and she's just doing it with lists and lists. And then she just draws herself going into this hole. She starts to draw herself as a skeleton after a while. Um, and then eventually, there's that hand again. We'll see drawings of hands over and over and over again. And eventually, she just writes this letter of gratitude, and she shows you the writing of the letter, which is part of the story, which is trying to get to the, the truth of the story. Actually, that's the end of that. So um, I'm going to put in the chat um, hand um, dialogue about what the story is about. Um, encur encouragement to tell or retell the story. Thanks everyone in the chat who likes, who's commenting on that. That's one of my favorite graphic novels, if, if not my favorite, it might be. So the next two panels, let's do any of these things. I'm gonna try and just trim down what I just saw um, and put it, here we go, hang on. We're gonna take two panels to do um, oops. Sorry, it's a little hard to do both the typing and the teaching, but we're doing fine, I think. So our options, oops, here we go. Take it for two panels, take it in any of the directions you just saw Ernie Bushmiller take it. And I want you to, I want to encourage you also to take it in the different direction. Like for my case, the big stuffing is really boring. And they wanted us to start with the boring thing. And I might have one of those little characters or maybe even a breadcrumb. Oh my God, of course. The breadcrumb is going to say, hey, isn't this really about spilling the tea on the Scrabble? I'm probably going to do something like that. And then after that, I don't know. We're just going to do this for two panels because the next two panels will map out with a different, a different couple of ideas. So I'm going to put that on the um, two panels. Lynn, I'll tell you in a minute what that was. Um, yeah, thanks, Katie. Two panels now. And we'll take about five minutes total. We don't need five minutes each. Um, reroute the story, question the story, mock the story, um, go deeper and comment, etc. And we'll have five minutes. And I'm going to have my stuff in because I'm stealing from Kim Kranz. Um, and also, if you're the kind of creator who does want to be planning ahead, we're going to try and write ourselves into an ending. And I don't know what that ending will be, but if you're already trying to think about it, feel free. Um,
wait. Yeah, wait. You know what? I'm gonna I'm gonna not even lie. I'm not even gonna make it about the Scrabble. I'm gonna make it about the in-laws. <laughs> I'm gonna say, wait a minute, isn't this a comic about the in-laws? Yeah, it is. Um, wait, yeah, wait. Let's see. So we draw the bowl. Have fun with this. Hopefully you're having. Fun. We'll go to 5.30, um, fine. Think about it getting out of control too. We saw that in some of the, uh, some of the Daffy Duck. I'm gonna put that in as a number seven. Think about it, oops. And in Ernie Bushmiller. There we go. So two more minutes. And if there's if that's a problem, let me know. But Um, okay. So nonetheless, we have another minute on that second panel. <laughs> All right, so we got two more panels to work out. So now we're going to start thinking about how to end it, and I'll show you two um, two more comics that that are pretty wild that way. And you guys will definitely be familiar with one of them, if not both of them. So let me see, make sure that those are there. Okay, so in both of these examples, oops, I'm going to show you oh, footage. Um, I'm going to try and think of which one. Yeah, I'm going to start with this one. This is Beth Tremblay's book, which um, some of you at saw have seen. Um, this is the one with the dead body. So there's your content warning for that. Um, Beth's story is is about. Um, uh, telling of, of, of finding this dead body in the woods that really traumatizes her and, and affects her in all, a lot of ways. And she tries and tell the story over and over and over again, over, I think, six times, but maybe seven, over the course of um, 10 or 15 years. And she says, so the first time I told this story, I drew it, or at least part of it. And she shows her, um, she is making a map. She's actually drawing it for a police officer because she reported it. Um, and there's the police officer and, and the police officer handing her the notebook, right? So we're seeing the same imagery, right? It's right out of Daffy Duck. We're seeing the hand drawing the story there, right there. Um, same thing. Um, and uh, she works with trying to tell the story, but not trying and trying not to freak out. Um, and then for the rest of the a good 10 years or something, 
she tells the story in, in different other forms, but she never draws it again. She tells it um, on the phone to her friend, uh, a handful of people, she says, there's the body. Um, and then she tells it as a, as a creative writing instructor over and over and over again for a number of years, um, the different parts of it. Um, she's telling different versions of the story each time. Um, in fact, she finds out oh, off a couple of times that she's leaving things out that she actually forgot about. Um, one time she writes it, only write, writes it. She actually didn't, um, has never written about it before. Um, prior to this, she's only talked about it orally. And then in five, the fifth version, it's after a bunch of um, people tell her, one person actually tells her about some things that were missing that they, she completely forgot about. And so she goes back in and tries to retell the story again. And then, um, yeah, and there's this whole bit where like, I can't wait to see how you write about me in your piece. You aren't in it. It's just about the day. What are you talking about? What are you talking about? Holy crap, you really don't remember? What are you talking about? I never saw you. Yes, you did. And so this questioning comes forward. Um, and in some ways, it's not that different from, from what Kim Kranz did with the characters sort of debating what the story is. But here it's real people in real memory debating what the story is. Um, and then she says, what does it, what does it mean to lose uh, yourself and to where does the self go when that happens and stuff like that and then she draws it again for the first time in more than 10 years and uh sorry about this drawing it's going to be kind of spooky um and then she says um that drawing made me want to draw more than that and so from there from having the ability to start drawing it she draws more of it and there's that hand again um and then more of her becomes revealed as a result of that. Um, I'm going to stop sharing. I'm going to share Matt Madden's book, and then we'll and then we'll draw our last two panels. Feel free to start if you want, because that's what we're going to do. Um, where? Um, oops, I lost it. There it is. Um, so Matt, Matt Madden's book, Matt was here last week. Ex Libris is fiction, but a similar sort of thing going on. This character is trapped in a room and um, can't figure out why they're trapped there, where they are, in fact, and um, everything is kind of like vague and confusing. And the only thing that, that seems to make any sense at all is there's this bookcase. Um, and um, on this bookcase, this, where this character has never been to, she's never seen these books, it's nothing but comics. It's a great book, by the way. This is a plug for Matt's book. <laughs> so comic after comic after comic, she pulls off the off um, the bookshelf and uh, and checks them out and looks at them. And then Matt gets to play around with different types of storytelling in the same way that Beth did. But Beth's is like really, really serious. And Matt's is fun and playing around with the form. Um, so uh, you get lots of examples of um, different types of storytelling. Oops, went out of order. Even plays with the UPC code there. Um, uh, so yeah, there's lots of a variety of different types of stories, um, including old, sort of old-fashioned ones. And he sort of makes this dip into the past and the future. But here we go. More importantly, the character, because they've been trapped and all they've had, all they've been able to do is read all these comics, the character finally realizes like, oh, I can write myself, I can draw myself out of this room and out of this story. And she breaks open this cap and um, she breaks, uh, finds a clean sheet of paper. She opens up the cap um, and she starts to draw. There's a person at the door, knock, knock, knock here. She draws that panel and then she draws herself kind of like we did in um, the first, part of this workshop and then she has drawn herself there and now she draws herself she draws a door she draws a circle actually it's a line it's a box it's a circle and then you realize it's a door and she draws herself leaving the story and that's really it so how do we do that in five minutes um i'm gonna uh yes sorry i was gonna spotlight myself does that make sense so what we've got is some more options here, and I'm going to write a couple of them down. Um, writing, 
our self out of the story or to the end or to the end uh, questioning the story um, um, going deeper I'm writing these things down in the chat going deeper into the meaning of the story or the telling of it um, and, and writing ourselves. All right, so here's our options. In our last two panels for our meta comic, oh, I never drew a character here. I'm supposed to draw myself. Okay. In our last two panels, we've got those options. Like we can go deeper. I would recommend drawing using that hand or that tool to draw yourself. You can finish the story or you can end it. Uh, I, I mean, restart it. You can say, no, this is really about the other thing on my list. And now I'm going to tell you that story. And then that's the end of the comic, you know, and you could tell it for real next week or just put it away and like that and let us all sort of uh, wish for them, you know. Does that make sense? I'm going to write 11 um, T's per reader with a potential next comic. Um, So we'll have five minutes. We'll go to 7.50 to finish those two, and then we'll start sharing. All right now, what do I do? I'm not sure. Let's see. All right, I know what I'm going to finish with. Now we're ready to tell the story, but I don't know what I'll do in between. Now we're ready to tell the story. I'm erasing all the irrelevant squares. That makes sense for everybody. Is everybody sort of it seems like they're doing okay? Um
And oh, Dave Lasky. I helped Dave Lasky. Dave, I've been I've been meaning to email you. I got something I want to tell you. Um somebody just roped, someone just roasted them. So Priya just roasted them. Um Renee. That's good. I'm glad this could help. Um <laughs> JD, that's pretty funny. Um cool. Dave, you're the king of meta comics, but I'm glad I could help. Um anyway, let's take let's take some hands. You don't have to rush into it if you're still working. Yay, we already got one. Um we can start sharing because I'm I'm uh because it's a holiday weekend, I'm gonna try and get this. I'm going to try and end at a decent hour. <laughs> I know we tend to go long. Um, cool. Anyway, I'm really, really happy to... Wow, a lot of people saying it helped us launch things. Okay, here's what I got. I got Sarah, Aaron, Brady, and Walter in that order. So we'll go to Sarah. There we are. How are you? Hi. Thanks for the sacrifice. It was really nice. Oh, cool. Really cool. Great, great creative. Um, I made something. I'll show you. I'm going to turn my camera around. Sure. That's my blog sleeping on the bed. Oh, yeah. I love um, blogs. Okay, it says, this is a comic about calling home. Oh, cool. First thing you have to draw is my dog. <laughs> love this already. Really, this is about how you never call your parents. Oh, great. Oh, hey, yeah, it's me. No, I'm not making anything. The weather is cold. I might go to a drag show later. Except when you're alone at the dog park on Thanksgiving. There's just too much not to tell them. Mm. And I won't read all that stuff, but mm -hmm. there's a lot not to tell them. I'm fine. I'm at the dog park. The dogs are fine. Amazing. Oh, what a great comic. Thanks so much. Wow. And there's the dog. Yeah, I like I like the, um, the second and third panels disrupting it. I was going to tell a cute story. When it got dark. Good. Yeah, we we like we like that here. <laughs> Thanks so much, Sarah. Thank you. Um, Aaron's here. Hi, Aaron. I haven't seen you in a while. Let's see. Uh, I lost Aaron. She took away. Hello, her. I'm here. Oh, yeah, sorry. But, yeah, when you lower your hand, to, let me do that. Put, sorry. You raise your hand again. Let's see. Ah, oh, there you are. Don't do it yet. <laughs> All right, there we go. All right. Thank sorry you. about that. No, it's okay. Okay, let me see if I can. So I started out with. Oh. comic about lying around all day which is a true story i smoked in bed that's not a true story that hand oh just because i could why must you turn this comic into a house of lies yoink Amazing. hey why did you do that just because i could <laughs> <laughs> you do tons of these types of comics, Aaron. It's, you know, it's I love me some meta. Such an honor. Yeah. <laughs> I love that. Um, that second panel. Uh, awesome. Thank you so much. And remember, everybody, to post these. I didn't use my usual uh, function in the chat where I mentioned where you should post, but please post these on Instagram and other places. I'll post that in the chat in a second if I can find it. We'll go to Brady next, then Walter, then Chris. Okay. Uh, mine's a little messy. I'll have, I'll read it for you. Um, uh, I'm not sure how far I, uh, met the comic, uh, Simon, but all right. It's about Thanksgiving uh, initially. This is a comic, whoops. This is a comic about, um, carving a turkey and eating it. And then he says, where do I start? And then he goes kind of crazy on the uh, thing and it starts becoming a mess. He goes, try car, somebody else says, uh, who's watching, try carving the turkey into bigger pieces. And then uh, the guy says, this is a dumb idea. Uh, who, suggest who suggested I carve the turkey? And the person says, no worries. Thanksgiving is about people getting together. Oops. Oh, I like the, the hand. And the last one is, I think it works better as a hat. <laughs> it's
is that a hand like doing that in the fifth panel? Yeah, yeah. Somebody who couldn't bear to watch, you know, going, "Oh my God, fantastic!" <laughs> what did you do to the turkey? So yeah, super, super great, Brady. Thank you. Awesome. Okay, we'll go to Walter next. Walter's ready. Come on, screen, Walter. There you are. Oh, muted. Um, the hands are, are are crap, but the pencil is actually in proportion. It's a big fat pencil, so oh, yeah. I just wanted to make sure that was clear. Gotcha. So start there. This is a comic about packing leftover food. There was a lot of food left over after dinner. I didn't want to take much home, so I packed our own. Oh my God, this is even more boring than I thought. <laughs> this is stupid. I'm not going to finish it. Let me tell you about how I carved the not turkey instead. <laughs> What's the not turkey? It's a, um, a vegetarian roast. <laughs> That's a great comic. I love it. <laughs> that pen, that pen and hand drawing is awesome. Actually, I really love it. Yeah, it's okay. But like I said, the the pen is actually this is my big fat do saw Friday night things with him. Cool. <laughs> awesome, Walter. Thank you. Okay, we'll go to Chris and Kai and oh, I think that's Martha there. Oh. Yep. Uh, here is Chris. Uh, this is a comic about peeling potatoes. <laughs> <laughs> um, I'm gonna need I'm gonna need eight of those. Can you draw them peeled? <laughs> <laughs> Uh, and then the potatoes say, we'd like to request a meeting with the author. <laughs> and the author, I mean, the other character is kind of worried. <clears throat> um, someone's going to get peeled and boiled. Uh, uh, well, we're peeling out. So then the potatoes peel out. And then I say, honey, the potatoes aren't here anymore. <laughs> <laughs> That's that's, that's totally point. awesome. I love it. I love that. I, I, I want to see them peeled drawing. All right. Awesome. Thanks, Chris. We're going to go to Kai next and then Martha and then JD. All right. Let's see. Um, all right. So this is, is it, this says, I don't, okay. This is a comic about not doing anything uh, today. And then in the next panel, my hand saying, hey, I did, I did stuff. And then he's saying, no, we didn't. And I'm oh, sorry. And then it's, uh, um, oh dear. Is that reversed? Is it just me? No, it's forward. Okay. Yeah. So then he's saying, he's like, no, no, we drew for a little bit. Oh, sorry. Oh yeah. And he's saying, Oh yeah, and then we went on that, we watched that online class. And he's saying, hey, no, we didn't. Oh God, sorry. Let's see better. Oh, oh. Helps. And he's saying, uh, in fact, we we didn't draw either. He's saying, I I drew you. <laughs> Fantastic. Please post these, everybody. This is that was great. Thank you so much. All right, Martha hiding over there. Hi, Martha. Uh, let's see. Go play spotlight. Hi. All right. I really enjoyed this. Um, one of my favorite comics is Hicksville, which is also oh. super meta. Goes from story yeah. to story. Recommend that. All right. So this isn't very deep, uh, but so you can see this the right way, right? It looks the right yep. way to you guys. Yeah. Okay. This is about cat rage. And I say, well, who cares about cat rage? Um, but we have the little paw representing there. Um, and it says, well, maybe cats do, but cats don't read comics. And the cat says, says who? And the author says, it's obvious. And then this says, uh, oh yeah, I'm gonna go poop in the tub. And then there's a scratch. So I'm trying oh. to get the idea of the scratching of the paper. Um, the true story is the cat did poop in the tub as a form of protest, but telling it in a meta way is maybe funnier than just telling it straight or maybe not. 
but anyway, it's meta. So true story. <laughs> Love it. Cat Love rage. It. Love it. That's our first uh, sort of uh, presentation of the panel too, like a ripping of it or a shredding of it or something like that. Awesome. Thanks so much. And all right, JD is there. Hi, JD. All our old favorites. Hey, hey how's it going? Good. Okay, I did. I always work digitally, and I did each panel individually as its own uh, thing. So I'll hold them up panel by panel. But uh, this is a comic about taking an hour and a half too long to make turkey tamale pie. Ooh. The recipe only says, then add the tamale dough. It says <laughs> nothing about how to make it. Oops. The tamale dough mocks me from limbo. <laughs> mm. Hey, do I even need to make another comic about flipping out over something easily present preventable? <laughs> And then uh, I wanted to tell everyone I'm no longer looking at my existential dread machine, i.e. phone, after 9 p.m. Create some order in my life. And then, dear reader, the tamale dough that does not exist is but a symbol. What it stands for is up to you, editor. Totally meta. It's mocking us from limbo, that symbol that we can't comprehend or the symbol that is so personal to everybody <laughs> thanks jd awesome nice seeing you okay we'll go to lizzie next lizzie kathy michael Dan. oops i did it all wrong oh yeah you're good i was not ready uh i also realized i think i do like a lot of me meta comics i'm always like trying to draw that pencil oh interesting uh, this is a comic about standing in the kitchen eating leftovers in your underwear the day after Thanksgiving. And it's like not even warmed up. <laughs> Love the pencil. Hey, was this when, uh, was this what you were doing while Oso's water dish was overfilling? Happening in the same room. Uh, and I was like, no. And the pencil's like kind of backing off. Oh. That was later when I was taking a nap and you can, the dripping is happening. It was a good nap. <laughs> uh, me, me, the narrator is also sighing about having done that again. <laughs> yeah, so I was gonna ask, the narrator is you, but it's more like a slightly more responsible you or something like that. Oh, I wish, yeah. <laughs> oh, <wait. laughs> Just the person that has to clean up. <laughs> <laughs> awesome. Thank you so much. Okay, we'll go to Kathy, Michael, Jen, Jackie. All right. All right. It says, this is a comic about reading a book. And then it says, I was so sleepy, it took two hands uh, to draw the book and copy. That's what happens when you end up finding that you drew two hands. Hmm. Um, and then it says, uh, were you really sleepy? No, I had just had too, eaten too much Indian food. Wait, you ate Indian uh, food on Thanksgiving? I'm feeling judged. And then it says down here, which is why uh, what did I write? Which is why I get lost in, a, in good books. Nobody judges me in a book. It's a quiet escape place. It doesn't explain the Indian food. No, it does not. There you go. You do not have to explain yourself. The, the comic can be really, uh, um, it can enforce our best, you know, our best selves. Our, that comic is, yeah, giving you permission. Nice. Thanks, Kathy. We have Michael next. Michael, do you want me to read it? OK. This is a comic about seeing rays of light beaming down from a cloudy sky. Oh, that's beautiful. I love that drawing. 
the sky, oh, look at the brush pen or the pen. All right, hold still, thanks. The sky, <laughs> the sky before us looked so epic and the light so very cinematic. I love that panel. Let me see three. Oh, shucks, you find me cinematic, you big flirt. <laughs> no, wait, I think this was supposed to be a metaphor for hope, even though I'm the exact opposite of hopeful. In fact, when I caught a glimpse of myself in the mirror this morning, I thought, who is that old man? And I had to look away in fear and disgust. Okay, that's panel four. Panel five, not another bleak, self-indulgent comic. Nobody wants to read this crap. And he's wrestling with the brush. Look at that. That's great. Yeah. Six, ugh, fighting myself really drives home the point that I'm all used up and have nothing of value to say. You're worse than I am, says the girl, oh, man, Michael. This is a classic. This is a classic one. Oh, I'm sorry you're feeling bummed out, but you're a star. We love you. Thank you for that comic. <laughs> All right. Jen, Jackie, KT, Jules. Here we go. Hello. Hi, oh, Jen. Am I unmuted? Okay. You're there. Go. We hear you. Hey. Um, so that's the whole thing. Nice. And this is the comic about. Uh, will you read it? I'll just sure. Okay. Using my bathroom as a kitchen, as my kitchen. Oh, look at that version of you. That's so cute. I have a beautiful vessel sink. It's brand new. I just did reno renovation, I guess. I've never had my own place before. I did the decorating decisions. This is new to me. And you've got this like plate in this. It's a lovely looking uh, sink. It's an elegant sink. Cat food dish next to it, a mug, uh, di uh, some sort of oh chopsticks. Okay. This comic is really about, yeah, there you go. This comic is really about my metamorphosis from renter to homeowner, from indifferent to invested, from adult to adult. It's weirdly wonderful. This comic is also about how my inner teen took over my life and may have helped me. Oh, wow. And then there's a little curly cue at the end. It's starting, is it's that a, a... It's a C. It's starting another, another word, but... It's to be continued. Yeah, the word is not clear. So that's very, uh, very uh, hanging, hanging us out. That's great. I love that comic. There's some really nice drawings of that thing too. Cool, Jen. Thanks. It's fun to read. I hope you'll post these. I hope people will post these. That's a great one to post. Um, Jackie's next. Cool. This is a comic about me walking to and from the Alamo Club on Thanksgiving. Here's a trees for sale. Uh, and then, oh, look, a shortcut. It's a holiday. Uh, I should get a break from drawing myself in my entirety. There's... <laughs> Screw that. It's Thanksgiving, and what's the easiest thing to draw on a day like today? And there's me erasing. Uh huh. A hand turkey. <laughs> and here I am. Bye for now. That's terrific. Love it. Thanks, Jackie. These are so fun. Awesome. All right, we'll go to Katie, Jules, Mishka, and Susanna. Let's see. How we're doing. Hello. I did this in gray, so I hope it shows up okay. But this is a comic about not being able to finish eating chicken. And then I was inspired by saying things that weren't true. So I said, I killed the guy for that chicken. This is not true for any lawyers who are watching. And I have the pen saying, I don't want to draw this. I was resting. And the bowl of chicken saying, well, we're in the fridge. At least you're being used. I'm like, well, I want to be at hockey class. And also the texture was weird. <laughs> the pen is like, well, I want to stop. And the chicken's like, we're never going to get eaten, are we? And I'm like, well, this is really just a distraction from everything that happened yesterday. Fantastic. You wrapped it up so nicely. Perfect. Thank you. Chicken's not going to get eaten. <laughs> <laughs> at least you're getting used. Great. Thank you, Katie. All right, we'll go to Jules next. Hello. Hi. All right. Um, okay. 
This is a comic about being too anxious to complain at a restaurant. Too crunchy. Food? The, the cheese was good. Man, the bread was so stale. Add more avocado. Maybe you're just anxious about food. Oh, shush, you know they're sensitive about that. <laughs> Are you going to finish that? Eh, they're too chicken to complain about it. Huh, you think it's the money stuff or the body stuff this time? Crunch, crunch. Hey, I already ate that sandwich. You can bully me, uh, but don't steal my lunch. Uh, um, and then like in panel me is eating food while they fly away. Geez, somebody sounds hangry. I heard that. <laughs> are those all versions of you sort of yeah they're all like tiny i sorry i don't know if i moved it well enough or if it's focusing but they're all like tiny me's that are responding and they've got happening. the color of your your glasses too i like that that works well thanks good, yeah thank you all right mishka is on a walk be right back but maybe she's here sorry i forgot to say that i forgot to do it um can you see yeah this is a comic about um funny t-shirts and blank canvases. So the boring thing I did today is I spent hours looking at thousands of t-shirts for my son. The website says that your purchase supports artists worldwide. Um, my ninth grader um, as a middle schooler insisted on wearing blank t-shirts. And um, here, I have this where I can read it. Um, as if sixth grade, oh, this way, this way, oh, <laughs> there, there it is. Ah. As if in sixth grade, you're not allowed to look at the smelly um, or stick out. They all want to be blank mm -hmm. canvases. That must be scary <clears throat> um, to not know what to put in the blank space. We all know that. Uh, and as I scroll shopped for hours, oh. oops, it went away. It went away. I saw that. Okay. You're back. As I scroll shop for hours, I wondered if any of my saw friends had designs <laughs> on here. And that's me asking all of you. Exactly <laughs> <meta>. <laughs> I love that. That's, that is very meta. I don't know. What site was it? That the only way we can answer is if we know. Oh, something. Threadless. Threadless. Oh, it's Threadless. OK, so in the chat, if you have something on Threadless, you can finish Mishka's comic by appearing in it with your design. You can't, I use the blue or threadless sort of. <laughs> blue for what? Oh, they have blue all over their site. So gotcha. Gotcha. To that. Donna has a shirt. Okay, no, that doesn't count. All right, thanks, Mishka. Thanks for coming back. We'll go to Susanna next. Hi. Okay, just had to unmute. I'm here with my mom. Oh. My mom, Sandy. We both are on comic. Um, Hmm. I wish you would show hers <laughs> in the in really Instagram good. or something. Yeah, you can show it in my Instagram if you want. Well, we'll see. <laughs> hers are really good. I really want to see hers. I'm more interested in yours than mine. But, Let's um, have a look at yours though. Okay, so this is my cat drip. And um Drip is so these are the brushes these are purple brushes and I can't read backwards but it's this tap 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 so I tap the brushes together and then drip goes crazy so she gets pulled in like a tractor beam so I'm trying to show drip 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 mm -hmm. drip being pulled in these are tractor beam um sort of emanata and then I'm trying to show that I'm tap 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 and then I start to get um missed because like this is a comic about a cat who loves to be brushed and a bad drawing of my arms and hands tapping them i.e the brushes and then this is the purple brush and i'm saying um it's also kind of about the relationship between a cat and these two purple brushes manufactured by kong company they're called zoom groom and they are so important to drip i can actually eliminate myself and now this is the brush and the brush is telling me you're not great at drawing either maybe slow down and try to get the proportions first and then these are the bristles of the brush saying we are cone shaped teeth shade us and um, <laughs> this is a drip right here 
and she's going, Meow! and then she's going, and then this is the brush saying, yeah, she needs your hand to hold the brush, hold the brush. And so now my hand comes back and now drip is going, and then my hand's like, okay. Wow. Your comic has the most materiality of anybody's. <laughs> Same thing in the brushing, cool. <laughs> it's a complicated, like weird primal thing when a cat likes to be brushed that much. <laughs> I just don't know how to illustrate it. It's a complicated thing to illustrate. And these are very difficult to draw, but they are very good cat brushes. You, you, you did great. I think those, those, uh, those watercolors are really nice. Thanks, Susanna. Thanks. Okay, we're gonna go to Joe and Janice and Lynn. We're almost, almost on our way out. Let's see. Hey, Joe. All right, am I audible? Yep. Okay, great. Um, let's see here. Uh, lift. This is a comic about paying bills in the bathroom. <laughs> uh, it's super embarrassing that I did this. Actually, I shouldn't be sharing. Um, the. Laptop says, hey, dude, isn't this supposed to be a PG rated comic? <laughs> yeah, are you really, do you really think toilet stories are good for <laughs> giving memories? And um, the, the, the credit card page says, actually, I think this is a story about how embarrassed he is for letting his money get out of control this year. <laughs> Whatever, dude, I'm flushing this whole story. <laughs> <laughs> Fantastic. Great. Thanks so much, Joe. Kept on theme and was super meta. Um, okay, we'll go to Janice next. Janice, Lynn, Fedora, Erica, I think that might be it. Okay, hi, everyone. Hi, Janice. So I went with the concept of the creation not obeying the creator. So my first panel here is um, myself. Oh, no. Okay. <laughs> um, this is a comic about collecting sticks to build a fire with my nephew James and so here we have outdoors my nephew James picking up the sticks and myself as the creator drawing a great and he asks Auntie Janice what are you doing drawing this graded cover this graded cover so you don't hurt yourself twisted fire starter <laughs> and so third panel is oh uh, this is why yeah i get used to this uh um he's and so my nephew says twisted fire starter haha ha, what's that aren't you gonna help me pick up sticks and so i say two birds one stone and here we go lead singer prodigy drawn into existence to help out with this task <laughs> but the lead singer of prodigy uh doesn't like rules so uh he kicks off the graded cover says no more rules wanka and um I go, what? Hey. And my nephew says, yay. <laughs> Just enjoy from a uh, new chaos. So that was my little four panel comic. <laughs> awesome. I don't, I wish I knew that band better. I would get the joke, but. <laughs> Prodigy, <laughs> Twisted Firestarter. No, was it 96? Classic times. <laughs> awesome, Janice. So, so nice to see you. Thanks for being here. Mm -hmm. Okay. We'll go to, we, we have Lynn, Fedora, Erica, Jamie. Hey. Um, so, I, I decided, I, I this is really hard. The most boring thing that happened was waiting in the park. So this is a comic about waiting for Isaac, who's my son in the park. And uh, so you'll find out more about it. But anyway, so here's uh, me looking at the phone because I'm waiting for him to come. It's a Google map. Um, the dogs are kind of asking me here or thinking, why are we in the park so late? And why is Jonathan with us? My husband never comes to us with us to the park. Um, and then um, I'm asking the, oh, here. Yeah, and I'm asking the, the myself who's drawing it, the artist, hey, what is this really about? And then I shove this uh, piece of paper at myself and it says Thanksgiving, um, uh, a new girlfriend, you have COVID, which is true. It's like threw everything, a wrench into everything. And, I, and then I get mad at the, artist myself and saying hey you know since when did the characters have to decide and in the last panel over here I'm saying oh shit I'm in way over my head here because now this actually you can't see but it's one of the characters hands reaching up out of the oh. paper. 
I have to draw that better. Over the paper, yeah. love that. Yeah, so anyway, it's kind that's of- That's fantastic. It's good to draw yourself at it. When you're in over your head, that's good to draw. That, that's that's what Kim Kranz did in her book. Yeah, thanks. This thanks, Lynn. How, really how are you feeling, by the way? You're still sick, right? Uh, tomorrow will be 10th day out. I'm still a little bit under the weather, but it wasn't so bad. It's just like a really bad cold. Problem is Jonathan's got it now. So but thanks, though. I'm getting better. All right. Okay, we'll go to uh, Fedora, Erica, and Jamie. That'll be it for the night, y'all. Here's Erica. Oh, no, here's Fedora. Sorry, Erica's next. Uh, hi. Yeah. Oh. Hi. Oh. Yeah, okay. we're good. Yeah. Hi. Not quite finished. Um, open to suggestions. Uh, yeah, this is a comic about food lunacy. Mm -hmm. uh, I had to peel and prep 44 Finocchio. You find that heroic or something? <laughs> and the olive oil says, you know that we'll fail to wow. <laughs> uh, I can't read this last one. Uh, for the fourth. Eh, oh gosh, I can't read it. Can you push Can it you up higher? Up? Maybe. Oh, yeah. Uh, okay. Yeah, this one. Uh, oh, uh, 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 we, the first, this is not about feeling awkward i don't know what the first word is um recently. oh recently this is not about feeling awkward okay these are great drawings what's the last panel uh with us your dear family in law <laughs> i love that it's that fennel or whatever uh yeah i guess it could be fennel in law yeah you're right <laughs> thank you thank you tom so any any ideas how to finish this maybe that's the ending maybe you, you, <laughs> something about fennel in law <laughs> yeah no i love it i love it thank you um thank you. yeah i don't know mix it up mix up this mix up a salad have some other foods come in and complain they're not in it or i don't know uh-huh yeah no I, more, I, more more awkward feelings would probably be a good way to go too yeah all right. Thank, yes, this was great. This was thank you so much. Thanks. Thank okay. You. Yep. Erica and then Jamie. Okay. Said this is a comic about one red bottle of wine. Oh. <laughs> one that. bottle of wine. No wine smoke. One bottle of wine was just enough for all five of us adults. Wait a second, what about the desserts? And there's sweet potato pie, pumpkin cheesecake, pumpkin pie. They said, no, this is all about the wine and I wish I chilled the bottle of white wine, but I forgot, something like that. And the white wine's like, me too. <laughs> um, I'm erasing all these pies. And the pie's like, no. And I said, maybe next time I'll talk about the movie we watched. It was awesome. And it was Secretariat. Oh, Mary Gateskill. Cool. Mm -hmm. Erica, thank you so much. Thank you. You'd think wine would make more appearances in our comics, but it doesn't. Um, <laughs> okay, let's see if Jamie is around. It's Finish. about to. Finish some tonight. more wine. Hold on, hold on. Okay. Wait, what, one more line. No, wine. Oh, wine. <laughs> Wine is about to make an appearance. Of course okay. it is. Of course it is. <laughs> of course. Well, terrible. I, I I don't know where it went, and I still don't understand what meta is. So just let's. That's for another day. But uh, I think it started out being that I felt this comic is about being fat, feeling fat and alone while surrounded by families. That was the big fat and alone. Wow. And then I was like, well, I haven't had wine in a while. Let's just have some wine. And then I just wished I was in the glass of wine so I could get away from this feeling like you're supposed to be feeling amazing and I just felt like so self-centered piece of shit then we bust my mom out of the hospital take her to a surprise detour to my brother's house before she's going to the rehab and again it's all about me I wish I was under the table with the dogs with the wine and I should be super happy and I'm just like an asshole that's missing it so there's me being an asshole that's missing it and then you said talk about the boring part so like the most the, I mean, it was great to see my mom. Don't get me wrong. I'm not a sinister evil person, but like, you know, it was just, I think I was in shock. I didn't know she was going to be there and nobody told me. So then I felt even more left out. Uh, hold on. Ooh. So then this one, I'm trying to cover up the bottom so you can't see. Okay. So then you said the boring part would be 
the most boring part was actually my favorite part because I just watched an interview with the vampire the series and I became deeply obsessed and the minute it was over I started watching it again so I tricked my sister-in-law into watching the first two episodes in the middle of the night while we were drinking wine and all I could think is I don't want to be here even though we were having a great time I was like I want to be there I want to be in there so I this is me climbing into the show and I'm per, I'm forever 14 years old. I haven't had time to get fat yet. And these two guys are my dad, the sexiest uh, vampires alive. I'll have to deal with the whole puberty for eternity thing. Sure. But guess who I get to hang out with forever? Lestat and Louie. So that's my comic. Thanks Amazing. for having me. <laughs> oh, Jamie. Great. I love that you broke your mom out of the hospital. For, did you have to I know. Her back? And I know to... she really like that's her in her sweatsuit I think it was actually gray but she and she cried and it was so it was like so cool and then I'm like she's getting overwhelmed guys we have to get her back to the rehab so they got her there and she's doing better and you know now we have to figure out things from there but yeah it was I I saw the back like the white hair and was like oh my god because of course I was the last person to the party um but yeah it was amazing I hope all you guys had a great Thanksgiving and uh th thanks for for having me <laughs> thanks Jane. thanks so much and those drawings thank are you. great thank you oh thanks um okay everybody well thanks i'm gonna let's see, cancel that i don't know how to cancel it well, um thanks so much for